Welcome back, horror friends. Welcome to week two of Horror Movie Update. I'm your host, Marv, and let's get to work. In theaters this Friday, April 15th, is Scream 4. I'm pretty excited about Scream 4. I would like to go see it. I'm a big fan of the series. Not so much Part 3. Part 3 was fun. Kinda. I like Part 2, but Part 1 was awesome. I loved Part 1. So I'm kind of looking forward to Scream 4. I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to get a chance to see it. I don't get out to theaters that much anymore, but I'll definitely see it on DVD if, if that's the last result. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Check out the trailer below. On DVD and Blu-ray this week, first up we have Inheritance. The Inheritance, rather. Uh, the Inheritance looks to be like a murder mystery slasher flick. A family comes together to a house. They gather at this house, it seems, that they are all there to get their inheritance. Their big inheritance. But there's a bit of a strangeness in the air. Their inheritance may be a little, uh, a little bad for them. So I don't know. It looks, it looks okay. The trailer looks like it could be a good rental. Uh, I might check it out. Up next is Last Breath from director Ty Jones, and uh, it looks like a Saw meets like Hostel, so to speak, where it's, it's a torture film. Uh, a couple looks like they they come to a large warehouse building and they they look they're looking to purchase it. I'm stumbling on my words. Sorry. They're looking to purchase the this giant building for God knows what, and someone it seems from their past is already occupying it and has plans for them. And they're trapped inside and, and he can't get out. And it looks like he's torturing them and chasing around the building. They're trying to hide and get out, but they can't. From Sci-Fi Channel and their line of original films, which are so much fun, yet so terribly done. <laughs> I, they're, they're fun. They have great titles. Their titles alone make me want to watch these movies, but the payoff isn't ever good, to be honest. But uh, up next is, on DVD this Tuesday, is a movie called Mandrake, where treasure hunters go into the jungle looking for treasure and releasing a curse, which is a giant tree? Mandrake tree? Looking to kill him because they took his knife or sword or whatever it is. Hmm. Mask Maker. It seems to be a secluded farmhouse filled with young adults getting murdered. That basic shtick. Echo Bridge is releasing a lot of double and triple feature uh, DVDs filled with... Let me start off with Children of the Corn, Part 2, 3, and 4. Why not Part 1? It's got to be a, a licensing issue or a copyright or just a rights alone issue. But 2, 3, and 4. I like 2. I saw 2 in theaters when I was whenever it came out. I think I was like 13 or 14. And I liked Part 2. And then I saw it again about six years later, and I didn't like part two. Part three was never good in the first place, and for me, part four, it just was okay. Next up is the Wes Craven-produced Dracula series, except for Echo Bridge is releasing Dracula 2 Ascension, Dracula 3 Legacy, the ones with Jason Scott Lee. And uh, I like those movies. They were good for what they are. They're good rentals. They're good rentals if you have, you know, if you're looking for a good vampire movie that's you ha you may not have seen before, and and you don't want to waste your time and money. They're good for a good rental. It's worth a couple bucks to see. I, I just I was never a huge fan to the point like I would want to purchase it, but it's on DVD. There are two different Hellraiser sets being released Tuesday, April twelfth, and uh, the first consists of Hellraiser three and Hellraiser Bloodlines, which is part four in the series. The second disc that's being released is Hellraiser 3, Hellraiser 4 Bloodlines, and Hellraiser 5 Inferno. I love the Hellraiser series. 
They get they seem to be getting weaker, but for some reason I can't get enough of Pinhead. I cannot get enough of him. The and the Cenobites, they're fantastic monsters. And I just I really love the story and I love I love the, the characters and just really good villains. And Uncle Bridge is releasing a double feature of The Prophecy and The Prophecy 2. These movies came out in the mid to late 90s. I believe 95 for the first one, 98 for the second one. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, they star Christopher Walken. Eric Stoltz is in the first one. It's all about heaven and hell having a, a war. and The humans are the prize, it seems. Hmm. They were decent movies. I, I they were decent. I they're good. They're worth a watch. You know, I I wouldn't pick up the DVD unless I really liked the films. If I'd seen them before and liked them, and I have seen them, but I don't. I didn't like them to the point where I think I want to spend, you know, fifteen twenty bucks on them right now. If I if I saw them in a bargain bin for like seven bucks, I would snap. I would snatch them up real quick because I, they're good enough for for that. But otherwise, just go rent it. Go rent both of them. Enjoy the film for what they are. And last but not least. This week's classic horror film trailer is the original Scream trailer. I'm going to post all the trailers to all the DVDs and and uh, whatnot in the bottom, but I'm going to post the, the original Scream trailer because Scream came along at a time where horror needed it the most. Horror, the 80s were over, slasher flicks were done. The ni early 90s kind of floundered the for... For horror, like there was the Leprechauns and and the Warlock movies and and the, the resurgence of the Children of the Corn films, um, which are released this week. Uh, but it really needed, uh, you know, Scream was like the defibrillator to the horror industry, and it shocked it back to life. And I enjoyed that, and I loved it. I saw it in theaters the, the opening night, and. I really, really liked Scream 1, so I'm going to post it as the classic trailer, horror trailer of the week. Uh, watch that, enjoy it, maybe go rant or pop in if you already own it. Pop, pop in Scream 1 and give it another watch. It's been 15 years, well, a little 14 years. Uh, give it a watch. You know, check it out. Relive how good it was back in the day. How good? That didn't sound right, did it? I don't know, whatever. Well, enjoy the week, pick up those DVDs, rent them. Netflix them, red box them, if you can, uh, and enjoy horror. Until next week, I'm Marv.